Okay, so what I did was I figured out how to make sure that students who received a link to a Google form could only vote one time and were the actual eligible voters. And when I say I figured this out, I'm going to say a big shout out to my Twitter PLN and especially my friend Stephanie Roll, who is not on Twitter, but is what I call the wizard. So essentially, here's what you do. This first tab here indicates the responses to the form that you created. And in this case, I've done student number, name, homeroom, um, and then I collected their vote for president, vice president, and secretary. If you are using something public, so you can't uh, necessarily collect emails as they come in or whatnot, you can run um, a conditional formatting script on this column here. And what will happen is when you highlight the role, you go to format, conditional formatting. I highlight the row and then you'll see I already have it in here. Essentially what I needed to do was put in the range. So in our case, it's row B. So I'm saying from cell one or row one rather to 102. I'm choosing the last one on my list, custom formula is. And then I'm going to use count if B to B comma B1 is greater than one. I found that on Google. I'm not totally sure why that happens. If you know, let me know. And then you can change it and say, okay, make it yellow. And you'll see these two are the exact same. So they're yellow and I wouldn't count them. Now, in most cases in, in an EDU domain, you can collect the email address and it's not a problem. And instead of using student number, um, you would just say the email that they logged in with. Okay. So then what you need to do is say who's actually eligible. So in this case, let's say a student had emailed it to a friend at another school and they could vote because they're within the same domain. What you do is then create a second tab and you get some information from the database. And in this case, I collected email addresses from everyone. So all that is going to pull is information from this first sheet, but only the information of the people who are eligible to vote. So in this case, these are the people who would be eligible. And then in each of these, I am going to put a formula and the formulas are down here. So it's an if error and a V lookup. And essentially you want to talk about the column on this page corresponding to whatever other page in this case, back to form one, I want it to look at B row B to G, because if you look here, B to G here, to here is all the information that I collected, right? B all the way over here to G. And in this case, we put the number four because the number four is one, two, three, four, the fourth column of that range that I wanna take data from. So tell me if four is false, Tell me what they put. So this person voted for A, this B, this person hasn't voted, C and A. So this is what happens if someone didn't vote, you'll leave blank. And then essentially you do the same. So this is the fifth column in that range and the sixth column in that range. And you can see that this up here is what's changing. So that will make sure, oops, that will make sure that you actually get the data that is supposed to be collected. From that, I created a third sheet that I just used a simple count if. So I said, you know, count if this on this sheet down here, so the actual results from the people who are eligible to vote in column B, because if we look back to column B, that's for president, and that's what we're looking at here, count if it said A. And then in my second one, you'll see in row three, I said B, and then three, or C for column four and then it automatically tallies. And if anything else comes in as you go, it actually tallies in real time. And I had the opportunity to try it today with a group that was voting for valedictorian. And as we were setting it up, my numbers were increasing. So it was pretty cool. So it's a little bit um, convoluted in a way, but uh, it's easy to do once you set it up once, you'll never have to do it again. The big one here is this if error v lookup. And like I said, I owe that all to my friend, Stephanie. So thank you everyone. And uh, I hope you can use it. There is a bit.ly to the sheet uh, that you can go and check out. It'll make a forced copy for you so you can uh, have it for your own manipulation. Hope this helps and now you know.